In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your front page. So obviously, we're back to the dashboard because you've just signed in. So you'll go to Pages, hover over, click on All Pages. Okay, and then you would select the page. So as you see here, if we're to go, uh, let's just choose, let's just choose Cart Page. We click Edit, right? That would take us to the back end page. To the back page we can just close this and there it is here it looks very weird and then you would click edit elementor and now let's say for example we've already got a page that is working with elementor so you can you can go in that way that way sorry you can go edit and then edit with elementor or if it says here elementor that means that the page is already built with elementor so what we can do is we simply come down to the home because we're going to edit the home page you can you can go edit or you can click on edit with Elementor. I normally like to go right click and then open in a new tab. Reason for that is because I like to flip between, especially if I, if I realize, oh no, I need to install something, I can quickly come out, go into the back end, install it, update something if I need to, then refresh my page. So that's what I always advise you, right click and edit with Elementor. When editing a page like this, always try to use a laptop. For some reason, Element is not the greatest with the iPad or the phone. You can't seem to move your blocks around or your rows around. So when you come into editing a page like this, always edit it with a laptop or a desktop computer. So I've actually already got it preloaded on another tab here. Reason for that is because sometimes Elementor can take a little bit long to load. So just to keep the tutorial so it's not a very long tutorial and we're waiting for things to load, I've already preloaded it. So as you can see here, this is your front page. So I know, for example, you said to me many of times that you don't like this image. So each row is exactly the same. Move around. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you how to change this image and I'm not going to update it. I'm just going to refresh it and then once I've refreshed it, all the changes will be back to the original way and then you can log in and change it yourself. So as you can see, you've got a blue bar here and if you scroll down, you've got a blue bar on every row. Okay, so we'll go up. What you do is you're going to click on this little six dots and now this edit section. Now when it says edit section, that'll be this whole bar. So we can change the width if you want, and as you can see here, it changes the layout. Okay, so if we go full width, we go full width, it stretches it. I'm not a big fan of that, so that's why we kept it boxed, just like this. So now you can play around with this. This is your height. That will affect your height here, as you can see there, if you want it. Okay, so we'll go undo on this one. This one was 100. Okay, we'll clear that. Okay, so there it is there. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go style, and now you're gonna go background. There's that image you don't like. So for tutorial sake, I'm just gonna change it to this skyline. Okay, as you can see, there is the skyline there. It's been changed, right? You can change the positioning if you wanted. As you can see, fixed, it will move like that. If you wanted it to be bottom. See, you can do custom, custom positioning if you want. As you can see there but now remember that will affect your your mobile friendly of your of the image so I normally depending on I play around with these two like that could work for you if you like it fixed so it locks or you can go scroll and then what it'll do is it will scroll I prefer to scroll one with this one because it kind of fits in but it's entirely up to you if you go no repeat, so what it's going to do now is if your image is too small, it will literally just repeat the image. Okay, this image is quite big. So if you had to put another image there, you would see like here, let's say for example, the image will end there, right? It will just position another image there. So your background would have different blocks in. That's why I'm not a fan of that. So we go don't repeat. And then the size in, we're going to go, you can go contain, as you can see. If we go back to repeat now, there you go. You can see that there's a repeat there. So you can go auto, which will, as you can see here, which we don't really want. So that's why any images like this, because it's a background, we want it to be set as cover. Then it will fit the whole thing. And then repeat, we want it as none. Because remember the cover, when you go to different devices, it will be a, a different res, a responsive on different devices. So that's why we don't want it to repeat. Okay, so then it will fill the whole screen no matter what device. 
So that's how you change that background. Then you come to these sections here. As you see, you can come to your, your heading. Now you can either type where I am, okay, or on the left-hand side, you can just type there. Okay. Okay. So then you can make that a link if you want. You could get a link to another page. But we don't really want to do that. You can change the... The, the positioning of it, you come to style, everything works under style. You can change the color if you wanted. You can choose your font, you can choose your size, you can choose your weight, your weight is the boldness of it. So if we go, as you can see, it got thinner there, put it to one, get even thinner, come to 700, so it gets thicker. So we leave that on default. Okay, you got your line height, your letter spacing. See? Okay. So you can play around with it. You got your word spacing, so you can change the distance of the words if you wanted to. That's why I say you've got to do this on a laptop and a desktop. So that's how you change basically any any type text. It's quite self-explanatory, quite easy. Again, play around with it. Just don't hit this green button until you're happy with it. This section here, this is your recent post. So I always like to right click to make sure that I've selected the right section. I right click and edit heading or edit this heading or edit post grid. So as you can see here, we've got all the setup for this section here. So columns, we can make it four columns. And then you'll be able to see it will change. And then we're going to go eight because now you've got four on the top, four on the bottom. See, there you go like that. Okay, remember everything adds on loading. So the more stuff you've got there, that's why I preferred uh, uh, six, because it's it looks nice, it's stretched, it fits your, the, your featured images fit nicely, and then also it loads, uh, helps uh, the loading of this website. So now you've got item height. See? So everything is drag and drop. Query. So you can add, so if a query basically is if you want to uh, sign by a category. So if you only want your, 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 um, uh, your category travel, then it, you can assign it to only show travel. So no matter what you put up there, it will only show travel. Then you can add this section down below and go uh, business reviews. And then whatever you put there under your category business reviews, that post will appear automatically. Okay, so again, go and play sound effects. I won't worry too much about because remember everything. We want the site to load quickly. That's the main thing. So your title here, if we come here again, it's the same. There's your your font, your letter spacing. Oh, sorry, your color. We just left it as the same, but it's entirely what you want it to be. So play around with it. Your skin. Don't worry too much about that. Um, you can get more, you can get involved in, in depth and make it whatever you want, but I normally find the simple the better for users because uh, that's what people are used to. So if you've got your categories here, this here again is a row. Click on the blue function at the top here, you go style, you can either put a background or you can go color. See, so whatever you want there. These are your different, uh, your search bar, which you don't really need to worry about because uh, we've already got it set up. So this row here, you'd possibly just change the color of the background. These functions here, you see where it's purple. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to uh, go into your theme options. So if you go to theme options at the top here, again, you'll see accent color, purple. So now, if you had to change that, it would affect all the things linked to the theme, like this purple bar here, that there. If you go to different sections of the, the business theme, you'll find that those uh, will be that color that you want it to be. All right. This here, if you right click, edit text editor. So now, the text editor is a little bit different to these at the top here. This is what we call a heading. This is what we call a text editor. So now, in the text editor, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so we can see. Right. We've got different layouts that we can do so we can it's like a word document 
make it like this we can make it bullet pointed we can make it numbers if you wanted to we can put it back in the center you can make it different headings all right so you can change the font if you want here see orange strike it if you want okay so it's entirely what you want to do this is very similar to word uh, to a word but the way i like to do it in all fairness is that I don't edit it like this, so I will just use the text editor as a text, put some bullet points in and get my lining of my uh, wording up, and then I'd go to style. Then I would choose my style font, because you see now I'm changing it, the font's not, the color's not changing. See, it's meant to be red, but it's orange. The reason why it's orange is because we've chosen it to be orange in here. If we had to take that out, you see now it's turned red, and it's gone back here. So the text editor version, I would say use this section as for text only and some bullet points, right? And then use the style function for your font and your positioning, as you can see here. All right. So that's so the text editor is great for bullet points and text and that, but otherwise it comes back to using this section here. Right. If we had to go what? Heading, heading it's, the, it's a title again which is the same as at the top here so as you can see things have kind of been duplicated to fit in these are your categories here you can play and click on them as you wish all right so if you want to change this background you click on the column here style there's the background there so let's just change it to that skyline and there you go it's the skyline is there okay these are your listings here filtered if you wanted to put four in a row or oh, sorry show number of items two or four see like that i like to keep things in a row so you can go three okay you've got your different carousel grid grid is always better because it's less uh, javascript to load your filters you can go by that or you can go categories see here you can go regions so you can go you could filter it england dubai europe america whatever you want to do i wouldn't advise it to so say maybe see places around the world and then just uh, leave that section blank and then uh, it will show everything worldwide then your as you can see here your filter so remember we said normal and in when we we're uh, setting up a video normal and featured so featured is when someone's paid for it to appear there. So if these are just random ones, which is the normal, but if say I signed up for Fatty Car Wash, right, I would, I've paid for that to be featured, it will appear here. And then these two here will only be normal ones. If someone's, if there's three featured, then it will show the three featured ones before the normal ones, all right? So we've got the, the order by random. However, that's random, yes, but it will be random features or random normal. Okay, auto priority first. So yes, so remember if we in the uh, when we we're doing the listing, we had the custom priority. If we wanted to make it a T, it would go to one or three, then it will be A, B, T. Okay, and that's how it would work here. Desktop, see here, you've got desktop and the laptop, we've got three, tablet, we've got two, mobile, we've got one. Now what that is, is that if you think about it on your phone, you've got a smaller screen. You don't want three listings coming up in a row. So what it will do is it will show one and then show the other one underneath. Okay. If we scroll down here, these are just some other places that you've visited that you can verify. Okay. Again, same function. There's your image that we've chosen at the background there. And to get there, we've just gone here. And there's your background. To add new features. So at the very bottom of every Elementor page, you'll see here. So you can click on this one here. You, you've got blocks. Now these are, because you've got Elementor Pro installed, right? You will be able to use all the features. However, when you've signed in, it might ask you to create an account with Elementor, which is free. So you create an account and then everything will get pulled under your account, okay? So then you can use some pre-built pages here and change the colors if you wanted to, or you've got my templates in here, okay? Or what you can do, let's say you just need to add a picture. So you can go, plus here you've got your different rows. So let's, you wanna put a row there. So here's the layout of the row, which is what we explained, boxed. But if you click this little Rubik's cube at the top here, you will see these are what we call widgets. 
you will see all of these widgets that you can use on the website okay doesn't matter what you want it to be you can do it so your uh, your limit is your imagination so let's say you want to use an image so you just literally drag and put it in there and we select the image I won't select the skyline this time we'll select uh, this one here as you can see there so if we want to go style you can change it max width height so let's just put these back to normal see you can change the okay you can even make your eye the border as you can see here we'll make it round there sorry let's just remove this you see it makes it round there okay if we go see it's making it more round now let's say for example you only want to make one side round okay you unclick here and we're going to make the left and we'll make that 50. as you can see there we go the left is turned there so if you want to make that one 50 see there if you want to make the 150 again okay that's how you that's how you would add a bit of so there you go you can leave it like that if you wanted to let's just make it a little bit smaller so you can see see there look if you wanted to make it a complete circle you do that let's say you want to make so you can play around so you make it different sizes like that you see so that's how you can you're you're the, the only limit you've really got is what you can think of what needs to be done on the site so that's how you edit your front page now the reason why i love elementor is the way that we've edited it here let me just reload it so we don't lose any of this we're going to go reload okay so when you edit anything with elementor it's basically the same thing so if you edit in this page it's you edit it like this if you edit your content page you would edit your content page exactly the same you'll just use the different elements on that site as you can see now everything's back to the way it was okay okay so that is how you edit a page and your front page with elementor